you've instilled a lot of confidence in me and you probably don't even realize that just because of how kind and nurturing and how you want to develop me. Like your goal isn't for me to stay on this program forever. It's for me to find the right tools that's sustainable for my life that I can then use for the rest of my life. Without a doubt, trust Vanessa and Derek and their team um, because they are legit and they are going to steer you in the right direction. Hi everybody, Vanessa here. I have Allison here with me in 16 weeks. She is down just about 16 pounds and a ton of inches. I'm super pumped about her progress. So we wanted to share her story. So Allison, I'll ask you the first question. What motivated you to start training with Right to Fitness? Um, I was getting married. Well, I just got married this past weekend. So um, I wanted to feel confident in my wedding dress. I didn't want to go in thinking, you know, do I look fat here? Do I look, you know, like, do I, should I not choose this wedding gown? Um, I didn't want my arms to be flabby in my wedding dress. Like those were all the things that were like going through my head at the time. Um, I went to high school actually with Derek. I was watching his videos, you know, over the course of, I don't know, at least a year. Um, and he was always so passionate about what he was doing. And, you know, even back then, Derek was um, always the kindest, most passionate, most determined person. And I knew that he wasn't going to back a program that he didn't believe in. So like this person, I, you know, I know personally, um, and I knew that he was not going to steer me in the wrong direction. Um, so as soon as we had that first initial call, um, that really motivated, motivated me to want to join. Um, as a cancer survivor, I was not taking care of my body. Um, I didn't trust my body anymore. Um, I didn't think that there was value in my body um, because I felt like it betrayed me. Um, but I knew that in order to really feel connected with myself and get back to who I was as a person, I needed to get my body back to where it needed to be to be stronger. So that's what started me. And previously, have you tried anything else to achieve your health and fitness goals? What haven't I tried, I guess, is the right question. Um, I did Weight Watchers uh, for a while back, um, probably end of high school, you know, beginning of college. Um, and that worked for a while, but it wasn't sustainable. Um, I, you know, you're given a book, okay, you can only eat 30 points of food. Um, so then I was always hungry. So then I was then, you know, cheating because I was eating, eating more than I shouldn't have been eating because I was still hungry. Um, I would cut calories, but of course still hungry, not sustainable. Um, I would go to the gym. Um, but with my busy lifestyle, um, I dreaded going to the gym. So then that wasn't sustainable because I hated going. I, I really felt like I tried everything that I knew, um, would possibly help me lose weight, but nothing was sustainable. So nothing ever happened. Nothing ever kept going. I didn't continue to lose weight because it wasn't sustainable for me. How did you feel before starting your transformation program? <laughs> Um, I had no confidence whatsoever. Um, I felt lazy. Um, I kind of felt unworthy. I felt lost. Like I didn't really have like a purpose, which seems like strange that it's, you know, like about, you know, like my, like my body and my, you know, the way that I view myself, but, um, all those things really affected, you know, the, just the way that I felt about myself. Um, and I just, I just was, I was, I was really lost. I think that's just what it comes down to. I was lost. When I asked that question, it's obviously physically, like, how did you feel? But I love that you touched on like mentally kind of like where your headspace was. And I know we're going to get into some questions here where you're going to answer how that's changed too. So not only physically has your body changed, but I know mentally you're in a much better headspace, which is great. So what was your first goal when you started out? I didn't want to have flabby arms. That was my first goal. Um, I was like, okay, I'll just tone my arms. And then I, I don't really care about the rest of my body. You know what I mean? Cause I, that's what, like, I want to wear sleeveless shirts. I want to look good in my way. Like when I wave, I don't want like flabby arms. So that was really, um, that was really my first goal was to not have flabby arms, but then it ended up being more than I probably have ever dreamed or could have imagined. Yeah, that's great. And that kind of goes right into the next question, which is what results have you seen since starting right to fitness? Okay. So the flab is, is there, but we're working on it. Um, it's not, I've lost probably 
an inch and a half, two inches on my arms alone. Um, I have lost a tremendous amount of inches, um, you know, like over my midsection, my legs are toned. Um, you know, I have muscle in my arms again. Um, I lost about what, 15, 16 pounds so far, so far, cause our journey is not over yet. But most importantly, I have so much more confidence in myself and my abilities over what inches I've lost or what numbers on the scale. Yeah, that's great. And I know for you, I want to touch a little bit, um, about just how your relationship with food has changed. I think starting out, that was something that, um, I don't want to say that you struggled with, but you were just unsure of like what it all meant and you're eating more food now. Can you, you know, expand on food wise, how that's kind of changed for you over the you know, last 16 weeks? Yeah, absolutely. So I, um, we're all kind of brainwashed into thinking that the less we eat, the more we're going to lose. Um, so, you know, the first couple of weeks, you know, I didn't see quite the amount of weight loss that I was, you know, hoping that I was going to see, I was like, oh, well, you know, I should be dropping, you know, 10 pounds, you know, in the first like three weeks. Um, but I wasn't eating enough. So Vanessa, you know, recorded a video and sent a video explaining to me why I wasn't losing weight. She's like, oh, you're not eating enough. I, you know, I'm five, nine and Vanessa, how tall are you? I'm about five foot tall. So you got yeah. the foot on me. <laughs> so like, she's like, you're eating less than what I'm eating. She's like, that's why you're not losing. Your body is like holding everything that you're eating because it's like, I don't know when it's going to eat again. So like, you know, that I had to really think about, think about that. I'm like, well, that makes no sense. I'm like, I don't know what she's doing. She's crazy. But like, yeah, I trusted her and I was like, okay, I'm going to eat what I'm supposed to be eating. I'm going to increase my portion size. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to be hungry. Like this was all something. And I still struggle with that. Like it still doesn't quite make total sense, <laughs> but I trusted her and I ate more and I lost. And like, so I still don't quite understand how that <laughs> works because I've been brainwashed for the past 35 years into thinking something completely different. Um, but it's true. So, um, just that relationship with food is totally different. It's more like, and I was always one of those people that was like, okay, well, as soon as I ate breakfast, what am I having for lunch? Like food was my primary focus. Um, but now I look at food of more like, okay, I know I need this to sustain my life, not as like what I should be focusing on. So yeah. that's my relationship with food is completely different than yeah. what it was going and into I it. And I know we talked a lot about too early on, just um, like your cravings for like sweets and sugar cravings. And I think we worked through that, you know, realizing like, Hey, when I eat more, I'm satisfied. Therefore I yep. crave less sugary foods, which was I thought, a really big breakthrough for you, which was great. Right to fitness and Derek and Vanessa, their whole thing is not to completely change everything about everything that you love. You know, it's like, if you want to have the cookie, go ahead and have the cookie, but I don't even want the cookie anymore. Like, I'm like, Oh, I'll just have a yogurt instead. And that will, you know, that'll help or, you know, curb my sweet tooth. So mm -hmm. it's the, the, my whole relationship with food is completely different. Yeah. I love that. It's great. What aspects have our coaching have you most enjoyed? Um, I very much enjoyed how personable, uh, you are, how personable Vanessa is, you know, she doesn't, you don't, uh, make you, you know, make me feel guilty about, you know, like anything I've done, or if I haven't reached my goal, you know, for this week, we look at, we look, to the next week and how we can, you know, just better, better what I've been doing. It's not, you know, like I've never been, I've never felt bad about, you know, my progress. I've never felt bad about like what I've put in my mouth. You've instilled a lot of confidence in me and you probably don't even realize that just because of how kind and nurturing and how you want to develop me. Like your goal isn't for me to stay on this program forever. It's for me to find the right tools that's sustainable for my life that I can then use for the rest of my life. Yeah. I love that. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad you felt that. I felt like I'm glad I you do. felt the love. Yeah. It's really Absolutely. important. hundred and ten percent. And you know, not only you and Derek, but your whole staff, your whole coaching staff, they're so positive and they celebrate your little wins and just the community that you've built with all of these women has it's, I, like, I don't know any of them, but you feel like you are a part of this community. That's just trying to be better. We're trying to make ourselves better. So it's great. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. 
how do you feel now and how has your life changed? I am so much more confident in not only the way that I look, but how I feel about myself and how I present myself. Um, I was always fine kind of being, you know, like in the background um, and kind of just, you know, doing what I'm doing. But, you know, when you feel more confident about yourself and your abilities, it's not just your physical appearance, but it's also your mental appearance, you know, like how you think mentally about yourself in situations. So I think that that has been one of the biggest um, impacts of my, you know, of my, the last 16 weeks that we've had together. Yeah. Kind of show up differently, right? You show up differently for work. You show up differently in your marriage for your, you know, you have a kid. So I'm sure that, you know, your energy and all that has helped too. So yeah. yeah much more than just physical looks. That's great. Absolutely. So moving forward, what new goals do you have? Um, so I want to lose that last five pounds, um, because 16 pounds is just not quite enough. So we're going (laughs) to lose those last, those last five pounds. Um, and really just to tone and find my muscles again, and, um, just really start to appreciate my body, um, for everything that it's been through. Um, and more like thank my body for what it's been through and where it's going to go and treat my body right. So that's what I'm most looking forward to do in our next 12 weeks together. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Last question. What would you tell anyone who is thinking about working with right to fitness? Oh, do it without a doubt. It's you're going in the beginning. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, what did I do? Um, but it is going to forever change your life, your family's life, your outlook on life, um, your confidence. You, like Vanessa said, walk into situations um, without a doubt. Trust Vanessa and Derek and their team um, because they are legit and they are going to steer you in the right direction. 